Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with Action Coach. And this is how well-being actually impacts performance in the workplace, part two. The problem is that throughout this pandemic, and I even prior to that, people were distracted, they were worried, somewhat um, disengaged, if you will. And then that got turned up you know, to the stratosphere with all of the pressure, whether the company is doing well or is not doing well that this pandemic has brought. The solution is that well-being practices actually increase engagement and performance in the workplace through five essential arenas. In this video, I'm going to remind you about what those five essential arenas of well-being are and give you 10 tips that you can integrate into your company to allow for increased productivity and well-being in the workplace. So let's start with the five arenas that are essential to well-being for all people. Number one, obviously, is their physical. Then career, the social life, their financial situation, and community. So we're going to be going through each one of these a little bit more in depth, and then I'm going to share with you the 10 tips. In the physical, it's not just weight, it's also mental acuity and the, what they eat, how much they sleep, what they're drinking, and how much movement they get. In some of my other videos, we've been talking about this quite a bit lately, that whatever we thought was enough, it's not. That going without sleep, it's actually like having alcohol and having a blood alcohol level that's even above the legal limit when people are missing four hours of sleep a night. The movement that you know we've all been like, you know, exercising an hour three times a week, wholly, totally, and completely insufficient. The amount of exercise that a person needs is going to be dependent on how well that person is right now and then to be building it up over time. I know that since I've been doing the workouts, I'm like stronger today than I was at the beginning. I could do one push up. You know, now I'm doing 10 times that, right? So, physical. The next is career. In the career, what we can do with people inside of their careers is to have a clear career pathway. People really want to know where they're headed and how they can get ahead in their career. The next is social. And this is both inside the business where in Gallup they're asking, do you have a best friend at work? And obviously their social lives outside. That has to do with their children, their partner uh, in life, whether it's a spouse or not, their like many times, like me, you know, you have a parent, an, el an elderly parent that they're looking after. So really knowing like the social structure of that person and their well-being inside of that arena. And then the next one, financial, as many, many people don't know how to plan for retirement or how to plan for financial well-being. And there's a lot that we as business owners can do about that. And then the last one is community community, their own personal community at large, and then the community within your organization. So those are the five essential arenas of well-being, according to, to Gallup, that we as business owners can pay attention to with our team members. And if you like this video, then please share it, like it, and be sure to let me know what it is that you're up to with well-being, engagement, and performance in your company. Bye for now.